don't know what goes on in his relationship, so we don't know everything that goes on. And Dalvin is very private, let's just say. He doesn't tell us things. He don't call us like, yeah, you know, this is going on. He is not going to do that. It, I mean, literally, he is so private. You have to kind of pull it out of him. Like, that what's going on, going on. And even then, you're like, okay, okay, Dalvin, you telling me your way or whatever way. You can just tell him, you know, tell him what he what he feels or he, what he, he shares whatever he wants to share. Exactly. Unless some kind of way you know something. Right. He like, shares what he wants to share. You know. So it it's just we had we watched Ellie's um video and I was like, you know, it's very disappointing that they're not together anymore. Because mm -hmm. number one, I'm gonna say this, Ellie is a very, very sweet woman. Very mm -hmm. sweet. Marriage material, and I'm gonna tell you, he definitely fumbled the ball, fumbled the ball, fumbled the bag, or whatever you want to call it, with this relationship. Because I feel that she was, you know, a good catch, and I think that she was would have been good for Dalvin because to balance him out. You know what I'm saying? Because the person, type of person she was, um, it's unfortunate that they had, you know, different things going on in the relationship that, um, that. We of course, like I said, I said I don't know exactly what was going on, but I'm sure that he knows. Because I, when I um talked to him, he said, you know, he just got some growing up to do. You know what I'm saying? So just a little bit more maturing and different things like that. And listen, you're gonna have to because you whatever um when you're in a relationship, it's a lot of things you have to do, like putting your you have to not be selfish. Just say it like that. Put it like that. No selfishness. You got to think about the other person. You got to communicate. You have to be able to um, compromise. All that stuff. Y'all know. Y'all know the um, the deal. What to, what happens in relationships? You need to be that. Um, be that with a person. But let me just say with a, with a person that you in a relationship with. But I can also say that I am proud of Ellie. And the reason why I say that as a woman that she had the you know she had the the courage enough to leave and not accept it. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very um, applaudable to me for a woman to be able to know her self-worth and know that, you know what? No, I'm not going to take this. I don't deserve this. And I'm going to do this and leave. Because that's the type of woman I would be. Because I'm not going to be staying in nobody's house that I'm not happy with. That's you know right, what I'm saying? If I'm not happy with that person, that's I'm not right. going to stay. That's if right. they're not going to add anything value to my life, I'm not staying because I'm not, I'm just that type of woman. I'm not that's right, stay. beloved. I'm not going to be miserable. I'm not gonna be unhappy in and and, and, and Mama has I'm spoken. Not happy with. I'm just not gonna do it. It's not it never happened. But I feel like I said that she made the best decision for her. It's unfortunate because, like uh, she said in her video, it's two people that have to deal with this. I'm sure they both had love for each other. However, it just didn't work. They wasn't compatible, and that's just the way it is, y'all. That's just the way it is. Yeah, I'm one of them. Um, I guess, <clears throat> you know, for those of you got, that have grown kids that uh, obviously are out here in the dating world or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, you probably, this will this will hopefully resonate with you guys. I'm more of a bird's eye parent when it comes to the our children's relationships just because um, I don't want to get too close. I would rather be like, all right, y'all, that's it. I'm finna get ready to go because it's going to a commercial. And I don't want to do all, you know, try to edit because I can't edit. But that's what B-Love had to say. Uh-oh. That's what B-Love had to say. And I'm just putting it out there because I just watched it. And it's just a clip. But this is Sugar and Spice. And sometimes everything is not nice, y'all. But that's just the way the world is. But I am very, very, very proud of Ellie. And I know that she didn't hook up with Davin because she was trying to, uh, what they call it, uh, what they call it, uh, darn. I can't even, I don't forget the name of it. <laughs> I know she wasn't trying to get on because of him and, you know, I mean, the girl is a, a shining star. You can't. Five languages? Come on now. You know, she 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 looks good. She looks like she smells good. 
And I'm here to tell you now, I love men, but the girl is a pretty woman and she's got a lot going for her. And his mama just said, you know, he's got a lot of growing up to do. And that's just the truth. So this is Sugar and Spice. And I love you, ladybugs. I love you all. Love you with the love of the Lord. And I will see you all later. Bye.